Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Hi guys, I wanted to just take a quick minute, just one minute of your time to show you this. My book, my book, it's coming out on March the 3rd. So if you want to own this cool, awesome bedtime meditation book, then make sure that you speak with your parents or your guardian and you go to the link below the video and go order it so that you get a copy first. My books here, kids. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Make sure that you're, yes, you're lying down. You're being still and quiet so you can listen to my story and relax your body and get all snuggly in bed so that you can fall to sleep. Bailey had a pet unicorn and this unicorn was so cute. It was so cute. It was pink and it had a bright pink mane with bright pink tail and it had a pink glossy silvery shiny horn that glowed in the dark. It was like the cutest unicorn you've ever seen and Bailey loved it. It wasn't only cute, it was also super awesome and funny and kind and sweet and it also had a little bit of trickery inside of it. It was like the bestest unicorn ever. If you wanted a pet unicorn, this would be the unicorn that you would pick. The thing is, Bailey's unicorn, obviously, was a very big secret. No one knew that she had a pet unicorn. Because if you tell anyone you have a pet unicorn, then something magical happens and your unicorn disappears and goes to some other child that can keep secrets. So Bailey didn't want to lose her pet unicorn and she kept it a secret. A very big secret. Every night... After a few hours sleep, she would get like a tickle in her tummy and that's when she knew that her unicorn was present. She'd open her eyes and see her unicorn flapping her wings, smiling through her bedroom window, moving her head to motion. Come on, come on, Bailey. Bailey would get up out of bed, open a window and climb on to the back of a unicorn. A unicorn was called Rosie, and its fur was so soft. It was like snuggling a teddy bear. Rosie had a neck pouch that she always wore, always, always, always. It was like her magical neck pouch. Inside of her neck pouch was all different things things that you would have no idea what was in there. Only Rosie, the unicorn, knew exactly what was in her neck pouch. But what was magical about it was anything that she seemed to need, she would just put one of her front hooves into her neck pouch and pull it out and there it was. It didn't matter if it was like as big as a house or as tiny as a seed. It didn't matter. Everything seemed to fit in her magical neck pouch. On this particular night, Rosie wanted to do three things that she always loved to do. One of the things that she always, always, always does is fly fast. Rosie, the unicorn, Bailey's pet unicorn, does not fly slow. She never has. Even if Bailey says, slow down, she doesn't. She likes to fly as fast as she can possibly fly. Bailey always makes sure to wear warm pyjamas because it gets really cold in the sky at night when you're flying super, super fast. On this night, she was flying faster than what seemed to be a normal fastest speed. It was like really fast. All Bailey's hair was flying back, her nose was freezing cold, her eyes were watering. It was exhilarating, but at the same time, it was cold. It was like... Rosie had a mission and she needed to get to wherever she wanted to get as soon as she possibly could. One of her favourite things that she liked to do 
was fly over the apple orchard. Down below, there was hundreds or what seemed like hundreds of apple trees, all full to the brim this time of year with red, rosy, shiny apples that were so sweet and delicious. Rosie couldn't help herself. She would fly over the apple trees and then just hover over them, munching away. Munch, munch, munch. It seemed like she could have one apple, just bite it, gone. Another apple, bite it, gone. Another apple, bite it, gone. And she would do this until she had at least 20 or 30 apples inside of her unicorn tummy. She loved the apple orchard and she loved to just hover there like a hummingbird over the apple trees, eating as many apples as she could possibly eat. Luckily, Bailey liked her apples too. And she would eat maybe two or three while they were there, never as many as Rosie. And then they would move on to the next thing that Rosie wanted to do. Tonight, Rosie wanted to take a bubble bath. They went to the local lake. She reached inside of her neck pouch and pulled out the biggest bottle of bubble bath. She poured a lot in the lake and the lake started to bubble and froth. Rosie delivered Bailey to the side of the lake because Bailey was too cold to swim. And then Rosie jumped into the lake, floated around on her back with her hooves up in the air, neighing and making unicorn sounds. She was in bubble heaven. She absolutely loved bubble baths. And a lake was just the perfect place to have one, don't you think? After a while, she was done with her bubble bath. She had a good shake like a dog shakes after he's been washed. And then she was all dry again, but even more super soft and super clean than she was before. Bailey climbed on the back of Rosie and they were up flying again in the sky. Rosie liked to plant secret flowers, surprise flowers. She would fly over gardens, just random gardens. She never knew who they belonged to. But they would both dug their hands or their hooves into Rosie's neck pouch and bring out handfuls of flower seeds. And then they'd sprinkle them all over people's gardens. And within a couple of weeks, people would have like random surprise flowers popping up all over their grass and all over their gardens. It was the prettiest thing to see. They were all different colours, purples and pinks, and they smelt so good because they weren't normal flowers. They were special, magical, unicorn flowers. Who knew where Rosie got these seeds from, but it definitely wasn't Earth. It was somewhere, somewhere that had the bestest flowers ever. And they would grow so big and so bright. And everyone, even the older people, When they saw the flowers in the gardens, they would be happy and they couldn't help but be joyous and smell them and just enjoy the flowers in their garden. Rosie seemed to know that this is what she was doing for people. In her heart, she was making them happy just by planting secret flower seeds in the middle of the night when no one would ever, ever know. On this particular night, after flying at the speed of light, eating lots of apples from the apple orchard and then having a bubble bath and then planting the surprise flowers, Bailey was tired. It was time for Bailey to go back to bed. She always tried to go back to bed at a reasonable time because if people knew that she was up all hours of the night with her pet unicorn, Rosie, then obviously her secret would be out and that wouldn't be good. So she could never be too tired because then her parents would be like, why are you so tired, Bailey? And Bailey would be like, "Uh, I don't know. I just um, didn't sleep very well. Yes, you didn't sleep very well because you was out all hours of the night planting secret flowers with your bestest, bestest friend, Rosie, your pet unicorn. So, of course, she had to be responsible and come home and go to sleep 
so that she had enough sleep so that she wouldn't be tired the next day and she could act very, very normal. Even though Bailey was definitely not normal. Bailey had a pet unicorn. That is definitely not normal. She would get into bed, put on her normal regular pyjamas because the other ones were too furry and too hot for inside of her bed. She'd snuggle down and get all comfortable and warm and she would literally be exhausted. Didn't take her very long at all to fall to sleep when she closed her eyes. She would have some of the bestest dreams about flying with her pet unicorn, Rosie, to all different places in the world. Pulling all sorts of magical things out of Rosie's neck pouch. Night after night, it was always different. Always something new and exciting. She let her body completely relax. Once she was asleep, she was so, so relaxed, it was unbelievable. She was comfortable and warm and safe and very, very happy. Who wouldn't be if they had a pet unicorn? I know I would be. The end. <laughs>